Hi, I'm David Brevnik with the Brevnik Fishing Team, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use a sabiki rig. So it's pretty simple. Um, normally, when you have it, you want to wrap the weight around the the reel piece right here, the reel handle, to keep it tied. That way, you're not hooking onto anything. And then, so let's say you already had it hooked. Make sure that it's not hooked anywhere, like right here, on the line. And then, basically, you just want to just drop it down and just jig it. So. Let's see if we get anything. Now, right, here, right now, I'm just doing this to show you guys how to use a sabiki rig. So you just want to drop it down and just bounce it up and down off the bottom, like this, until something bites. So right now, I'm just showing you guys how to do it. I don't think I'm gonna catch anything because I'm just right off the dock right here. But basically, what you want to do is just want to drop it down and just work it up and down, just bounce it up and down until something bites it, and then you just reel it up and then. Just grab the weight, and then you just go and dehook your fish in the live wall. Just grab the weight, put it all in one hand, and just dehook your fish. So that's pretty much it. But when you're sabiking, here's a few things. We'll see if we get something. Well, so when you're sabiking, you want to be looking at your fish finder, seeing where the bait is in the water column. So if they're up a little bit, you want to do a few cranks up. So like, let's say I do like three cranks, then I'll do like three cranks up, and then if they start biting there, I'll reel it up and uh, then I'll just drop it back down. Now if they're on the surface, you just drop it down a few feet and start jigging. Drop it down a few more feet and start jigging. But when you're reeling it up off the bottom, keep a count on how many cranks you've done. That way when you go to drop it back down again, let's say you did 10 cranks, drop it back down to the bottom, 10 cranks, and then there you go. You're right back in that school of fish. So you can do big motions like this or you can do little small motions. It really depends on the the way the fish are feeding. Sometimes they like it better when you do big motions. Sometimes they like it better with smaller motions. So it's really gonna depend on how the fish are day on that day. Good thing is this is not something that's gonna take a long time to figure out. You're simply just dropping it down in a school of bait fish and you'll get them really fast. It's a great way to load up the live well. So make sure you have a fish finder so that way you can see where all the bait is. It's a really great idea to have a bigger one that way you can see it from the back of the boat or wherever you are standing on the boat. Um, the place I would recommend to get fish finders is dbmarinesupplies.com. They have a lot of great deals on their fish finders and you can really save a lot of money if you're on a tight budget like right now. So I'll leave that link below in the description and keep in mind it's always good to have a good fish finder and a bigger fish finder that you can see it that way it's more sophisticated you can see bottom features better and all that you have better charts. So always make try to upgrade to the latest fish finder because it's just simply better. So I don't think I'm going to get anything here. So I'm just going to reel it up and then turn off the video. And then I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching today's video guys. And next video is on how to use a D hooker. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and, give this, and hit the notification bell if you don't miss any future videos. So now, next video coming up, you're going to see how to use a D hooker. Make sure to subscribe once again and hit the notification bell that way you don't miss that video. Thanks for watching today's video.